Hello and welcome to J Adventures. I am Jacqueline. In today's video, I will be deep cleaning our bathroom. It is in dire need of a good cleaning. So come along and join us. Here I am just tightening up the toilet seat and then I'm going to try and figure out how to put the lid back on. I'm going to be taking my shower curtain down. I'm not going to give my tub a deep clean right now because I am going to give Lady and Dexter a bath. I'm really looking forward to Saturday because we are and I are taking our kids to the pumpkin patch and then uh, later that same evening our church that we go to is holding a pumpkin carving and we are taking the kids there as well and one of the friends gets to come up it's just a really big weekend this weekend and I am I'm going to be putting these little Walmart eggs in the trash for our bathroom. So I am doing this early in the morning while my kids are asleep, before Anna gets up and ready for school. And I have to say, I really like my new routine that I've been doing. Getting up early is doesn't seem to be my thing right now. I noticed a lot of grime on my bathroom door, so I wanted to get that cleaned up. I am using my wall cleaner on my wood door, and then Lost I am going eyes, to scrub it with the scrub daddy. Oh, it's like we've always known we finally got the tub declogged. So I'm giving the tub a scrub, especially since the last time when I took a shower, I put some coconut oil in my hair to try and get some extra moisture in it. And so the tub was it had some coconut oil in it as well. It was really in this one area on the door that has been bothering me, so I am taking care of it. I can't believe we started our friends. Oh, it's like we were meant to be lovers.
Now I'm just gonna get the water to the temperature so it's not too hot or too cold for Dexter. Between Lady and Dexter is actually the worst when it comes to baths. He just isn't still. But today he was really good. I tried to use this opportunity to make it feel like I'm petting them and it's not like bath time. Also a really good trick if you don't know, if you take your hand off the, your dog when you give them a bath, they're more likely to shake so you keep a hand on, on them at all times so they don't shake on you. Now it's Lady's turn, and <laughs> I don't know what it is about Lady, but it's like she shows more emotion, and she's just giving me these little please, please don't do this to me kind of look, but these dogs need baths, and I'm using the Next Care Flea and Tick shampoo on them, and I'll give them some Flea and Tick stuff. I'll do that at night because this stuff goes on their fur and I just don't want my kids to get it on them and all over the place. Now that they're clean and it's later, kids have been up and ate and all kinds of things as you can probably see through the window and better lighting that it's much later in the morning so now I'm just gonna get use the Dawn power wash for my walls then I will use barkeepers friend for the tub Now I'm just scrubbing the walls on my shower. Now it's time to rinse. Now I'm just using Barkeeper's Friend on the tub. I had a hard time shaking just the, the powder into the tub. Well, it is day two of cleaning the tub. I don't think I ever got to scrubbing the tub, so that is what I'm also gonna do. I also haven't gotten to working on our bathroom closet. It needs some organizing, maybe some decluttering. Now that the tub's been scrubbed, it is time to get it rinsed. 
make it all nice and shiny and pretty. Now that things are cleaned, it is time to put everything back where they belong. This is our little shower caddy. Shower curtain going back up. Now it's time to clear off the counter and get this bathroom done. I never got to scrubbing the toilet yesterday, so I'm doing it today. I like to let it sit there for just a minute, but I do have a tendency to forget about it. So I probably should not do that anymore, but that's what I'm doing right now. Prime example of me forgetting about the toilet, I have to do it again. I do find it very wasteful. so. I'm going to have to find a different system for that, so I'm not wasting cleaning stuff. I am cleaning the toilet. And I will also be cleaning the base of the toilet. When I clean the toilet, I like to do this to keep the toilet base from getting really disgusting. Now it's time to give this countertop a good cleaning. I'm using a different cleaning towel, just the same color. At this point of the day, I Kyle had come home, he watched the kids, while I went to the library to get a couple things printed out, and I also checked out some books for myself and for the kids. So now I'm returned home and finally mopping the floor. I am at the tail end. I am going to organize and reorganize and declutter just a couple of things. It actually wasn't as bad as I thought it was. It's just things are not organized. I put this uh, organizer in here. I'm hoping that it might help I stopped climbing on the sides of the wall there. She treats it like it's a ladder and gets into stuff up there. So I'm hoping this may stop it. But I'm just rearranging, organizing, and using just stuff that I have to help organize 
this stuff. There wasn't too many things, I think it was just a couple of things that I decluttered out of there. I know we have a lot of toothbrushes, it's because really Anna could, can't like find hers or Ivy's and so I just get them another one and the reason why we can't find them is because things were not organized and we could definitely use a def better spot for toothbrushes and toothpaste. After I had done all this cleaning and organizing and all this stuff and that it took two days, the next day, Ivy was sick and had thrown up everywhere. <laughs> so, glad I had it cleaned for her to do that. Thank you for being here with me today. I hope this helped get some motivation to clean, organize, and declutter a space that needs to be decluttered. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. And y'all have a wonderful week.